uh, uh, 610 Hyde Street. Yeah. Right. Sorry, miss. It's the rules of the paradise. No girls are allowed in without escorts. Oh, I see. Women aren't even admitted to paradise without a man. Huh? Yeah. Well, there you are. Don't bother, your hands are full. I'll get the tickets for the two of us. Two, please. I'll explain to you when we get inside. Did you bring your lunch, too? Thank you. You see, I wanted to get in to see my sister. She works here. And they wouldn't let me in without an escort. Oh, for a minute, I thought you were trying to frame me. Oh, no. No, you see, I've never been here before. My sisters often ask me to come down. I've never been able to. I've always been so busy. But, uh, well, tonight I just felt like a little spree. Well, I hope you find it. I, I, I've sort of been playing hooky all day today. I spent the entire afternoon watching the fleet come in. Oh, gee, it was exciting. If I were a man, I'd be a sailor. Yeah, I know just how you feel. They're pretty, aren't they? Oh, but I'll bet you're used to seeing pretty girls all over the world. I never give them a tumble, sister. Women don't interest me. I'll bet you dance beautifully. No, not a step. Well, I gotta be shoving off. So long. Come to Papa. You sure work fast. Yeah, we're slow. We're slow. They all Where did you pick up that awful looking crow? Why, well, she picked me up. I think she's screwy. She must be if she tried to pick you up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, what do you have? Six clean glasses. music lessons. Oh, I didn't feel like giving them, so I just called up and said I was ill. I guess it's just a touch of spring fever. Well, it's a funny time to be having spring fever in October. <laughs> well, things usually happen to me out of season. Honey, why don't you admit it? You're lonesome. Some men aren't half bad. I don't know why. I just seem to frighten them away. You look too darned intelligent. You know, it isn't that gentlemen really prefer blondes. It's just that we look dumber. And maybe that's it. It used to end up by my saying I'd be a sister to them. Now it begins by their saying they'll be a brother to me. That's the difference between us. I make them say uncle. Well, I can understand that. You're attractive. Connie, women weren't born with silk stockings on, you know. Well, I wear silk stockings. And no one looks at them. Well, men haven't X-ray eyes. Though sometimes I wonder. Gee, you must look lovely in this. And so could you, if you wanted to. Things have got to be dolled up nowadays. That's why they put brass on battleships. Look, why don't you let me try to fix you up? You'll be amazed how much better it'll make you feel. Even though I'm not a blonde, I could be dumb, couldn't I? And you'll probably do all right, too. It takes a lot of brains to be dumb. Let's try it. Hey, Kitty! Honey, this is Kitty Collins. Kitty Collins, this is my sister. How do you do? Hiya. Do you, uh, fix her up? Well, I'll do what I can, Sherry. Uh-oh, I've got to go on. I'll be back after the number. Remember the old saying, clothes make the man. Do you have to wear these? Oh, no, I just wear them to impress my pupils. I'll bet they're impressed. 